Hi, we're here with Jenny Hargrave. She's the owner of Simply Flowers Incorporated. Jenny works in the part of the horticulture industry called floriculture. Uh, Jenny, would you describe what a typical day is like for you and your job? During our busy season, when we're planting the flowers, we would get up, we would load the trucks, get all the flowers ready, and we would come out, pull flowers, prep the beds, and plant the new flowers. So we're sitting here in front of Sugarloaf Country Club, obviously one of the most pristine areas in Atlanta. You can see the mix of color plants around. Um, Jenny, what, where do you get your inspiration from? I find inspiration in a lot of different places. I like looking at what interior designers are doing, what fashioning, but I also just like to go to nurseries and see how to put different combinations together and come up with new ideas. When I was a little girl, my dad and I would go to the nursery every Mother's Day and we'd pick out flowers for my mom's planter boxes. And I really loved seeing how much joy that brought to my mom and I figured out I could make a career of that and bring joy to hundreds and even thousands of people in what I do for a living. Right now we have 10 people in our staff and we take care of about 300 properties. Well, our business is just flowers, but we also use a lot of other materials. We use mulches, we use fertilizers, so we're relying on greenhouses, we're relying on um, retail nurseries as well as We're relying on, on folks who bring in the, the hard goods as well as the soft goods. We are an integral part of the landscape, but we're a niche market. We have to work closely with the irrigation specialist and with the landscape specialist to make sure that the entire package is meeting the needs of our I know that you've been past president of uh, Metro Atlanta Landscape and Turf Association, uh, as well as you're a member of the Georgia Green Industry Association. Would you care to comment on being involved in professional associations and how that's benefited your business? Being involved in a professional association is absolutely key to the success of any company and I believe any individual in this industry. I started with 12 clients and now I have over 300. Would certification such as the Georgia Certified Plant Professional program go a long way in your book or the Georgia Certified Landscape Professional? I think any type of professional certification makes an employee a better employee. It shows that people are genuinely interested in the industry. It shows that people have the dedication to complete a program that is not easy. And it just proves their diligence. In horticulture, any classes that you take in horticulture are wonderful. But when it's time to get a job, be realistic and be ready to start in an entry-level position. If you start as a supervisor on a crew, you're going to learn so much more that's going to enhance your book learning, and it's going to prepare you for management positions and even ownership later on. But those entry-level positions are vital for building your work. Good advice would be to do some summer internships, get that experience. Absolutely. An internship is also going to tell you whether this is the right career for you. You learn so much during hands-on experience with horticulture, and it also lets your staff know later that you've done that work and you can train them better. So, Jenny, you obviously have a great uh, taste for color and know how to mix things. Did you? Were you an artist in school? Did you enjoy art? How did you learn how to work with a color palette? I did a lot of art classes when I was in junior high and high school. So I learned all about the color wheel. I learned how to put colors and textures together. And I look at my job as living artwork. Fantastic.